Hello students, in this video, let us understand how to calculate machine error rate. So before calculating machine error rate, first, the first thing which we need to do is, we need to uh, bifurcate the given expenses into standing charges and variable charges. So first information they have given is cost of machine, then installation charges is given, then anticipated life of the machine 10 years, then residual value at the end of 10 years is given. The first four information whatever they have given, this information used for the purpose of calculation of depreciation. So depreciation is always variable. So cost of machine, installation charge is given. So installation charges, transportation charges or, or any other expenses which the company is going to incur till installation. Those expenses has to be added to the cost of machine. And the installation charges, transportation charges, but the inela expenses and the company machine purchase marda in the head installation agavar ke spend marda hai. That is cost of machine ke add marda ka gatta hai. Adhi retaili scrap value or residual value of the machine ko tra. Adhi na deduct marda ka gatta hai. Yi problem le installation cost no kuda koti thare. Adhi na add marda kome ko. Adhi retaili residual value kuda koti thare. Adhi na wo less marda kome ko. So then rent and rates. Per annum, under one the worship rent matter rates is target in the cotidare. So uh, rent is always fixed or standing charges. Insurance of machine per annum is given. So insurance charges is always fixed or standing per annum. Then repairs and maintenance per annum is given. So normally repairs and maintenance expenses is variable. So based on the requirement we are going to spend, based on the damage we are going to spend the repairs and maintenance expenses. But here the company has fixed the repairs and maintenance charges per annum. So even the worst of repairs and maintenance charges in a fixed market in the it will become fixed charges or standing charges. Fixed agila and the other repairs and maintenance will become variable charges and con consumable stores per annum is given. So normally consumable store is variable variable charges but since in this problem they have given consumable store per annum so it will become fixed. Then total production service per annum. Production service per annum is given, so it is fixed. And we will expense in one version fix So we are supposed to take under standing charges. So next they have given power cost is five units per working hour. So normally uh, power charges is always variable. In this problem they have given per hour. So directly we need to multiply 5 units with 40 paise per unit. So it is variable. Power charges is always variable. So because we are going to consume in the sense machinery is going to consume power based on the production activity. So it is variable. Then setting up time clearly they have given non-productive and then on the machine and set up not back other 400 hours spend again and they won the worship okay so they have clearly mentioned that now it is non-productive in the sense at the time of setting up, up of the machinery no production is taking place so it has to be deducted from the total working uh, hours of the machinery and they have given there are 300 working days of eight hours in a year in the sense they are going to work for 300 uh, days in a year and 8 hours each day so by multiplying 300 with 8 we are going to get total working hours so from that we are supposed to deduct 400 hours so illi instead of giving non productive if it is productive idu na now deduct madu hagirillilla idu na skip madbekagittu illi clear agi non productive anta kotirodrinda total working hours in the this 400 hours has to be deducted so now let us calculate machine hour rate before calculating the machine hour rate first we need to calculate effective working hours so in the problem they have given that the machine is going to work for 300 days 
8 hours each. So 300 days into 8 hours it will be equals to 2400 hours. So and also they have clearly mentioned that setting up time it is non-productive that is 400 hours. Since setting up time is non-productive so no production has been taken place uh, during setting up time it has to be deducted. So 2400 minus 400 effective working hours is equal to 2000. If setting up time is productive then we are not supposed to deduct these 400 hours from the yearly hours. So now let us calculate machine hour rate. First we need to transfer all the standing charges in the sense fixed charges. In the problem they have given rent and rates that is 12,000. Insurance is given 3,000 rupees per annum. Repairs and maintenance is given 8,640 per annum. Consumable store is given 1,200 rupees per annum. Then production services is given 1080 rupees per annum. So since all the expenses are given per annum, under all expenses no koda one the varshe ki kotti rather inda direct agi tavan taithiye. Suppose yau dadro one the expense na oru per monthi ke kotti dhar. So first it has to be converted to year by multiplying 12. Under yau dadro one the monthi ke inda kotti dhar na vein madhe ko dhar na varshe ke convert madhe adad mele na wo total madhe ka gatte. So in this problem all the expenses are given per annum. So no need to multiply with anything. So it will be equals to 25,920 total expenses. So if we want to calculate per hour we need to divide it by the effective working hours. So effective working hours we have calculated that 2000 hours. So 25,920 divided by 2000 it will be equals to 12.96 rupees. So next we need to calculate running charges are also known as variable charges. Variable charges. So first variable charge is depreciation. So depreciation has uh, you know can be calculated by adding installation charges given 5400 rupees. So scrap value that is residual value is given it has to be deducted. So 1,14,800 is cost of the machine. 5400 is installation charges so it has to be added this 5000 rupees is residual value is given it has to be deducted divided by 2000 working hours per annum under one the worship 2000 working hours life of the machine is given that is 10 years so here they have clearly mentioned that an anticipated life of the machine is 10 years under one the machinery is to wash a life you 10 years so here this 2000 R is per annum into 10 years so it will be equals to 20,000. So if you calculate the per hour depreciation will be 5.76 rupees. Power cost clearly they have given that 5 units per hour at 40 paise per unit. So 5 into 40 paise it will be equals to 0 0.40. So if you multiply 5 into 0 0.40 it will be equals to 2 rupees. So if you make a total of standing charges and variable charges machine hour rate will be equals to 20.72 rupees per hour. Thank you students.